is going on YouTube? So we are about to try to show Harley a little bit of love, man. This car needs a lot of attention. First of all, for some reason, I don't know, I think it's the spark plug jumping off, but it's got this terrible, terrible mist to it. So I'm gonna pull over up here and see if I can push it back on. I don't know. It could be once one time it was doing it before it ended up being a spark plug. And then another time I think some water had got into the cylinder where the spark plug goes. That could definitely be the case here today as well. But um I need to I need to address that. I need to take care of that. So I think I got it figured out guys. Sorry for the air compressor, I'm trying to let it build up. But this first cylinder here, uh, it's got a, it's got some moisture and debris in there. Like, I think it's coming from not having the hood things up here. I think there's water just seeping past somehow and getting down in there because uh, there is a little moisture and it's only in this first cylinder right here. All the other ones are fine. So. I'm basically cleaning off the plug the best I can, and I'm gonna stick this back in. Hopefully we can get rid of that misfire and it'll run smooth. We'll just throw new plugs and wires in it uh, once we get ready to put this thing back together. I'm trying to keep a mindset of not trying to put too much into it right this second. I just wanna know that it's running good because we do have to take this thing sorta of apart kind of just just gonna pull the motor and transmission out swap the transmission over we're gonna keep the same clutch the clutch is still like brand new and probably get this engine bay cleaned out repaint it to uh, the new color that she wants and then throw the engine and transmission back in so nothing fancy nothing too crazy hopefully we should be able to have this done within a week or so so uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna be documenting for for the next like two three videos so if you're excited man make sure you smack that like button but yeah i'm gonna let this compressor build up once it's done i'm gonna try to use a little brake clean in that tunnel for the the uh start where the spark plug goes and try to see if i can clean it out and dry it out a little bit and then we're gonna throw the plug back in hopefully that fixes our misfire issue because i do want to try to rip vtec one last time before we tear this thing apart uh just to see how it feels man because it's been a while so yeah let's see what happens
Got it up in the air, boys. Already pulled the battery out. Got the coolant draining. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this battery tray out. And that'll give us access to the ground wire, which is attached to right here to the transmission. We'll uh, get that popped off. This whole wire set up here can hang out. We'll probably end up having to take it all the way off if we're gonna be respraying it, but we'll cross that bridge once we get there. But yeah, I'm just gonna slowly make progress. I think I'm just gonna end up throwing you guys on a time lapse and uh, just try to get, get stuff knocked out. Hopefully, if all goes well, we can have you a pretty decent video by at least by Saturday. So yeah, I'm gonna keep moving, boys. Make some progress and uh, try to get things done. Chicken Waltz in this. They love, love, love this car, guys. They just love this car. I think because it sits the most pretty much out of everything we have. And man, I mean, they just they just flock to it. And like the, the battery will die after so many weeks of sitting. So I leave the, the hood kind of cracked. But I think they're coming in through like where the intake area is because obviously there's no fender lining. So I think they just fly up in here, seek refuge in the engine bay and build nests. So like literally this is like the third or fourth nest that's been in here. Usually I just kill them like I come out early in the morning, spray them with some hot shot while they're sleeping and then the nest will disappear and then Weeks go by, maybe a month or two, and then a, another one will pop up, and I'll do the same thing, but I'm not surprised, guys. There's gonna be a lot, a lot of probably dead insects inside this thing. This thing literally just sits all the time. So, um, again, once we get this transmission in and we get this engine bay painted, which isn't the biggest deal. The engine bay paint isn't, but the transmission is the main thing. Once we get that done, uh, and this car is actually drivable, then we're gonna move on, get this thing repainted. We're gonna paint it again, but this time we're gonna use clear coat, which I didn't at first. And you can see it really, really went bad. And this is like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know if it's moss or what that stuff is, but it's, it's rough, but it's not a wrap. <laughs> so should be pretty easy to, sand down and just repaint. I'm gonna reprime, repaint it all over. Hopefully between now and then we can find a new bumper because I didn't like the fact that I painted this crack one last time. So hopefully we can locate a new front bumper for it. And uh, the headlights should clean up. So I'm not too worried because I did clear coat these so they should clean up. They just got like the moss looking stuff on them. So they should buff out pretty decent and yeah, we're just going to try to revitalize this thing, man. Hopefully we can enjoy it some, take it to a couple meets this year and just get it out and uh, just enjoy it pretty much. got the F20B out and she's finishing pissing all in my floor over here. Nothing major. Um, but yeah, so we got the engine out guys, which is pretty much what I wanted to accomplish in this video. And what I'm gonna try to do, I need to brainstorm. I know for a fact that I do have to pressure wash this engine bay out really good. 
and I think uh, see this paint doesn't have a clear coat or anything on it so I think what I'm gonna do and it should be safe because nothing's really chipped it's just more or less uh, just just stained or something like it's just grease stains or something so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pressure wash it out really good uh, use a lot of degreaser and stuff clean up this thing as best I can and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reprime it again to seal it up and then we'll uh, lay paint and then we'll lay clear this time in the mix clear like automotive clear in the gun and clear over top of that and I think that's gonna make this last really really good guys I'm yet to clear uh, engine bay with like the gun I have used like the good two the the what is it the 2x not, not the rust-oleum that you know what I'm talking about with the red cap that you pop into the bottom of it and it and it's got actual hardener in it now I did use that on the turbo car and that thing is like amazing like you can still wipe it down to this day and it's been like two or three years so I know if we spray like two nice heavy coats of clear out of a gun on this thing I know it should last which really that was my biggest issue with this car that that clear just just adds that protection so with an engine bay man especially a car that, that you plan on using and driving you're gonna have a spill sometimes you're gonna have uh, something get on the, the actual paint in the bay and to prevent it from staining like this is done this is just rust oleum out of a spray can which is what we're going to be painting it with again don't get it twisted we're still doing this on budget build setups but this time we're going to seal it all in with automotive clear which you can buy from your local uh, advanced auto or auto zone uh, we'll probably get like the little quart one that should be more than enough and we're going to mix that and use the good old harbor freight gun with the air compressor and shoot this thing with at least two nice thick coats i think that'll really seal it up really good and we shouldn't have any issues now i'm not gonna lie guys for the longest time and i've also contemplated this on trap i've always wanted to delete the ac completely so i think i am gonna try to get this freon out and just remove this compressor all together get these big lines right here out of the way i think that'll make it look 10 times better also may try to pull the condenser out i'm gonna see how far i feel like diving into it guys because i really don't want this down too long i really want to just get this trans swapped over i don't even think i'm gonna try to paint the engine or anything i didn't paint it the first time so it's pretty much this is like the the raw look of what the engine looked like now we are going to be doing a valve cover over but that's because the valve cover now is going to have to match the new color which i'll show you probably in the next video but yeah we are going to redo that but as far as the engine and possibly the transmission as well which is that one right there i think i'm just gonna put it on clean it up with the pressure washer you know degrease and try to just get it as clean as possible but i'm going to keep it simple and just throw those two together and so we can go on and make this back into the car. And that's why I'm trying not to dwell on this engine bay too much. I really just want to paint it, make it all one color, make it like seal it up so that it's, the main areas you see are actually covered good and can be wiped down when you spill stuff on it. And then just from there, put the engine back, get this thing back running and driving good. And we'll proceed then to work on the body. We're going to repaint the body as well. Also, color reveal on that coming um, probably in another few videos or so. Depending on how many it takes to get this all done. But yeah, uh, I guess that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. That being said, guys, smack the like button for me. I will catch y'all in the next video. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.